Ah, that must be it. The big round stone. That's what I was looking for. God, every damn path in this place actually turns out to be a stream. One of life's lessons. Anyway, it's just a piece of stone. Hello. Pretty lonely out here, isn't it? A country lying as waste as the sea, apparently. Only the moorfowl and the peewees crying upon it. Much of it was red with heather, much of the rest broken up with bogs and hags and peaty pools. This is sounding familiar. I have come too far north uh, for reasons of accommodation. Uh, so I'm going to cheat a bit and go back on Thursday and go a walk further south uh, across the actual Rennick Moor and then try and join up these two routes. Um, as I say, it's mainly because I can't stay anywhere in the middle. Uh, and I've got this fantastic uh, lodge just over there that I desperately wanted to stay at, just for reasons of comfort, if nothing else. And my last time alone, I'm happy to say, because on Friday, Steve, my friend Steve, is gonna fly up and he's gonna walk with me on Saturday, so I shall have a companion. And then my family are coming up. So on Sunday onwards, I'll have my wife and my daughter here. So suddenly it will be social. Now the only problem with that is, that if anybody's read ahead they know, that that's the time when Alan and David aren't really talking to each other. And they're having a bit of an argument. So we may have to simulate some kind of argument. Or maybe we won't have to simulate it. Who knows? So I thought I was alone, but creeping along down there in the valley, can you see, is a train. That's heading for Cora Station. Do you know where it comes from? It can come all the way from London, that train. Which means you could get on the sleeper at 8.30 at night and end up here at six in the morning. Come round to my place for breakfast. Oh yes, 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 I almost forgot. Rob, yes, tomorrow is Clooney's cage. Um, it's out up that way. Uh, and I found on the map a place called Prince Charlie's Cave, which leads me to believe that Jacobite rebels did hide up in that mountain. So I'm heading straight for there, and we'll probably find a cave, not a funny little house that looks like a wasp's nest. However, next year, any architects out there, wouldn't it be wonderful to make a temporary installation? Our own little gambling house. We could play cards for three days and uh, eat uh, venison and drink a lot of spiced port or whatever else they were drinking there. Have a little poker club up in an environmentally strange place. What do you think? I think that sounds like a great idea. Or am I going crazy? So. Did the right thing. I mean, in the middle of bloody nowhere, and there were people. I thought I mustn't be found, so I came back on the path. Here, yeah, you can just see them there. So I just hid in that little hollow. Did the job nicely. I have a friend, a song, and a glass. Gaily along life's roads I pass. Joyous and free out of doors for me, over the hills in the morning.